Hey guys, welcome to Robot Absor. Today we'll look at a very interesting robot vacuum from Xiaomi. It's called Xiaomi Mija 1T Sweeping Robot, also known as Xiaomi Mi Robot Vacuum Mop 2 Pro Plus. There are two interesting things about this robot. First and foremost, that's the addition of TOF sensor on the front bumper, which helps the robot recognize obstacles and go around them. According to the manufacturer, Miji 1T can recognize wires, small objects and even the surprise of your pet's eaves you. All of this can set back cleaning. And secondly, the suction power reached 3000 Pascal, thanks to which the robot cleans better. Later, I'll get a detailed look at and test the Xiaomi Mija 1T, after which I'll tell you if this robot is good enough for your needs. The price of the robot starts at $300, which is more expensive than the Similia Mija 1C and Dreamy F9. The link's in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our content. Now, let's get started. The Xiaomi Mija 1T box doesn't have much. Not including the robot, the box includes a charging base, a power cord with a Chinese plug, a power cord with a European plug, a necessary forward cleaning with microfiber cloth attached, manual in Chinese, as you might have guessed, the robot I bought was intended for China, and an instrument for cleaning the brush. Like I said, there isn't much else in there, but that's common for the Xiaomi vacuums. Now let's take a look at the robot's exterior. Xiaomi Mija 1T came round and black. It is 82 mm tall. On the control panel up top are two buttons for stop, pause and return to base for charging. Next to it is a navigation camera. Thanks to it, Xiaomi Mija 1T can build a map of the house and save it. But I'll come back to this later. On the front we can see a sensor for recognizing objects on the floor. The dust collector is right underneath the lid. It fits up to 550 ml of dirt. The filtration system is based off mesh and HEPA filters. The cloth for mopping can be attached on the back. Inside it we can see an electronic water regulation pump. The container can fit up to 250 ml of water. The cloth is attached through a slider and velcro. Now let's take a look at Mija 1T from below. On the front are four antifall sensors, as well as an optical sensor that helps the robot arrange itself. There is only one three-sided side brush with bristly ends. On the side we can see a brush that helps the brush clean itself from hair and fur. The central brush is a common model, six-sided and can be taken off from one side. All in all, Mija 1T's quality is ok, which reflects on the price. The main characteristics of the robot are on the screen. I recommend pausing to read all the info. The characteristics are up for competition, especially the suction power which we'll stop on later. Now let's move on to Xiaomi Mija 1T's functions. The robot is controlled through the Mi Home app. On the main screen you can see the map the robot had built, saved and zoned for individual rooms. In the settings you can save the map, set up a cleaning schedule, Choose the time, days and the suction power. Sadly, you can pick individual rooms for cleaning. But you can turn on automatic power increase for carpets, make your robot clean after charging, and also turn on do not disturb for specific times. You can also turn on notifications and choose the language you want your robot to speak it. The robot I got can speak only in Chinese and English. In the menu you can also find the cleaning log in which you can view your water level, manually control your robot and turn on Find My Robot. In your area editor you can connect rooms together or separate them apart. Below you can find a section where you can set up virtual walls, no-go zones and no-go zones for mopping. Well, you can also name and rename your robot, share your controls with others and update your app. Let's go back to the main screen. The bottom two buttons are responsible for automatically cleaning and getting the robot back to the base. If you swipe up, you will see a section for regulating your suction power and checking your water level. On the map, you can set a specific point for your robot to clean, or just pick specific rooms that need tidying up. So, there's all the functions. We went over the main features and I'll add that the robot can continue cleaning from the spot it left off after charging. And finally, let's move on to the tests. Let's first test Mija 1T's navigation in the room with obstacles. First, our robot goes around the room in a snake-like pattern. Thanks to the tough sensor on the front, the robot almost doesn't even touch the objects. It didn't clean around the chair legs and boxes, but ended going back to the chair legs. It didn't stuck on the drying rack. 
After going in a snake-like pattern, the robot goes around the perimeter and goes back to its charging base. The navigation isn't bad, but it isn't the best among robots with cameras. Now let's see how well Major 1T identifies subjects on the floor. As you can see, the robot wasn't able to identify the sock and got it stuck in the brush, after which it couldn't continue working. I move it to move on with our tests. The pet excrements also went down in the gutter, but at least it kind of recognized the wires and some small objects and toys, which is still touched while cleaning. Just didn't fail completely. Then I got to thinking and thought, would the result be different on the light surface? Now they weren't. So I think our test with recognizing objects on the floor was totally failed. And don't buy this robot even this function you are going for. Well, and the navigation itself is a little problematic. The front sensors act very weirdly on fluffy carpets. And in result the robot's movement becomes chaotic. Here, take a look for yourself. But the problem doesn't occur on hard floors. So, the robot went first in a snake-like pattern, then around the perimeter cleaning room after room. But there are still uncleaned areas on the carpet. And as we can see, some image 1T sensor are hurting it in the long run. The navigation in itself is scrappy, and I'm not too happy with it. But the robot is more careful than the Mijo 1C and Dreamy of 9. And that's a fact. If the carpet problem is fixed in the future, then the navigation will be fine. Even though the manufacturer stated 3000 Pascal for the suction power, the robot can only suck out dirt from 2 mm. So the numbers are all a corporate lie. In reality, Xiaomi Major 1T's suction power is closer to 2 2500 Pascal. The hard floor cleaning is about average. But again, the camera causes unnecessary movement, but mostly, the dirt is gone. Only a bit of dirt is left in the corners, where most round robots can't reach. Elf, we are going to talk about Xiaomi Major 1T's ability to clean carpets. Then I have to mention that the cleaning itself is good, so I'm not complaining. The quality of mopping dirt from the floor is about average as well, but that's common among Xiaomi vacuums. A small line along the baseboard remains, but that's the current setback of Xiaomi. But this robot will do for quality mopping of your house. The cloth is wet but doesn't cause puddles. The trail has a good amount of water. And most importantly, the floor doesn't have streaks and spots. The robot vacuum can also simultaneously vacuum and mop. So that's a plus. The robot goes over obstacles pretty well. Baseboards measuring 2 cm rise, no problem for our robot. Xiaomi Major 1T avoids the black rock. But that's common amongst all Xiaomi vacuums. Lastly, let's test Xiaomi Major 1T's noise lever in different modes. On the lowest mode, it reached 57-60 dB. On the regular mode, it goes at 61 dB. When pressure cleaning, it goes to 63 dB. And in turbo, the max is around 65 dB. This robot is pretty quiet compared to the others. Xiaomi Major 1T was thoroughly tested and detailed. Based on our algorithm, it got a 57 out of 100. And that's 10 less than Dreamy F9, which was tested by us before. And access the main model for vacuums costing at $300. I took off two additional points from Major 1C for the slow app, which is on the Chinese servers and that the front two sensors hurt the robot's cleaning. So let's look at all the benefits and disadvantages of this model. The benefits are simultaneous mopping and vacuuming, big water and dust containers, great with obstacles, good functions such as no-go zones, virtual walls and individual rooms for cleaning, a good battery, the mopping and vacuuming is about average. The main disadvantages that in my opinion are more important are the robot isn't good at identifying objects on the floor. The system of identifying objects hurt the robot's cleaning when on carpets. The app is slow with the Chinese servers. You can choose individual room when setting up your schedule. No spare parts. The robot awaits dark spaces. So, I really don't see a point to you buying Xiaomi Major 1T for that large of an amount. You are overpaying for the sensors that identify objects on the floor. If you compare it with Major 1C and Dreamy of 9, which are the main competitors for the Xiaomi brand, and the sensors are also very bad at identifying the objects, and actually hurt the robot when cleaning carpets. 
and the suction power turned out to be less than advertised. So I recommend saving your money and buying something else. On open your budget up a bit more and buy the DreamyBot L10 Pro, which costs around $400 and has a 3D sensor which better identifies objects on the floor. It also has a better battery, making it a better option for your purchase. On this note, I'd like to end this review. Thanks for watching! And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest content. Have fun shopping! Bye!